What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today, I've always wanted to do a deck that makes synergy between Unlife of the Party and Barrel of Deadbeards. Um, there's actually, I'm pretty sure, a cool synergy that when this explodes, no matter if the Unlife is to the right or to the left, the Unlife of the Party will grow before it takes the one damage. So if this is ever at one health, it doesn't die. It'll just gain an attack and then, and a health, and then take one damage. Um, it is, does count as two minions, so that will be pretty fun. Uh, this is the Professor Barrel Swarm deck. One of the fun decks that I've done, one of the most fun decks I've ever done is actually Profe the new version of Professor Brain Swarm. You can find that on YouTube. Um, you're going with Unlife. We ran eggs. Instead of the eggs, we're on the barrel. Uh, there's a really cool combo you can do on turn three. You play Unlife of the Party, and then you play Interdimensional Zombie, which will grow to a 2 2, and then you play Neutron Imp, which will grow this to a 3 3, and then this transforms. And it turns your unlife, your one cost card on turn three into a 4-4 that can even grow more than that. So that's really awesome. Uh, on turn one, you can do con man. You can even just spam these on one. You can play um, interdimensional zombie on one and then play leap environment on two. They'll turn into a three cost card to a four cost card. Every time one, you leap a card or you transform a card with transformation station... That'll make your own life for the party grow, because that counts as a new minion. You play your Quasar, so then, you know, it buffs the life of the party, and then you have the, one of these superpowers, which is going to be great. So, a lot of really cool little synergies. We're running two uh, final missions in order to activate the barrels, otherwise you can stick this in front of something. This also combines with Leap, because Barrel of Deadbeards, when it explodes, turns into a three-cost card, which when you leap it then turns into a four cost card and sometimes you can get one card start costing eight and then it's like a plank walk or an octo zombie and then nine and it's gonna be a zombot and you can easily win uh the chat uh coerced me into running one copy of bad moon rising we'll see if this comes up at all uh i guess in a swarm deck i guess they ain't bad hope you guys enjoy let's get into the game here we go no more screwing around we'll do normal bets today if you think this deck will go eight and two this deck was pretty competitive the other versions let's see if the barrel is good enough if you think this deck will go 8 and 2, then your mom is not a hoe. And if you don't think it will go 7 and 3 or fewer, then your mom is a hoe. The voting starts right <laughs> Imagine saying that whole thing with a straight face. See, this we can do. I can just wait till turn 3. Maybe I will. That's such a cool hand. Should I just like Tali Ike White Hall turn three? I can also play one, two. I just feel like Rumble. This does play around Spike Weed. I think if he rumbles here, I think this is going to be good enough. Because if he rumbles this one card, his superpower is going to be so good against this deck since we have a lot of small minions. I think that was literally best case scenario. So we gave up on the turn three play. We could get another Neutron or something to activate this. We'll see what happens. Wow. Uh, I think it's just Eureka. It seems like everyone and their freaking grandma is running Grass Knuckles these days. It's just so disproportionate. I mean, it's an easy hero to play in a good one. Oh, they got a barrel, and we also got a Mechasaur. And there's also a lot of natural card draw and brainstorm, which means, you know, we have three regifters for card draw, but... Uh, I'm gonna start with this. We're gonna go Unlife. Unlife Barrel? You can go Unlife, Unlife, Unlife. Unlife. Barrel. That's cool. That's a decent play right there. It's gonna do one damage this thing. The one cost three three essentially. We'll get a four three on the field. Is that okay? The blocks. Nope. A uh, boom. Wait. This took one da- oh, I think it'll animation-wise take one damage, but I'm pretty sure that still doesn't die. Badly certain. Okay, I'm not playing this, because we have two lanes in an environment here. So I'm gonna go with... You. A you. And then we're gonna leap something. Let's actually drag that, that's cool. 
And if you remove something, well, summoning. <laughs> Better when I bet all my fries. Stop putting pressure on me, guys. This is your responsibility. How you spend this stuff. That's fine. So we can actually leap this one successfully. Now, this lane is going to be a problem, but he really only has two cards in his hand. I'm just going to be able to clog this lane. We have a summoning, too. So this dies for free. This transforms. Both of these grow. Look at this play. Landscaper. So we'll take out... This one definitely not. I think we're going to take... Uh, reduce this one's attack. Doesn't really matter here. We could have saved one health on the unlight. And now this is going to leap next turn. And these are going to grow again. This is just a 6-5 casually. Make it a 7-6 at the end here. This will casually be a 4-3. This will be a 4-drop. I mean, this game kind of went perfect exactly how we wanted this to go. Oh my goodness, another one. No bonus attacks. Oh, bonus drag, bucket boys. That is so good. It's godlike. Godlike. Oh. <gasps> Barrel's gonna explode for free? Heck yeah! And that'll grow these twice now because of the berries! <laughs> oh, this is going exactly how we wanted. What is he gonna do here, man? He can't bonus attack, too. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this explodes now. Oh, wait, this is armor, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're dead. We got a 4 3. Let's <laughs> grow again. And this is gonna transform and grow again. <laughs> yeah, wrecked! And then we rolled ones! That's going to the highlight comp. I was gonna make it as the as the video highlight. I'm sure we'll have another video highlight. Did we just roll ones at the end there though? Like for realsies? Hold on. Hold on. We rolled. No, we rolled a three and a two. Still, it's eleven damage. He forgot to block them. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Oh, we rolled a three and a two. We rolled two and two. Wait. No, so that'll be the intro. Okay, that won't be the highlight comp. That'll be the intro. Okay. 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 11. 16. Yay, keep it going. We didn't blocky block there, but we did. That was... I mean, that was exactly, exactly, exactly how we want this deck to go, man. Bob Johnson, welcome to Primally. Thanks for subscribing, Primally. It's super cringe. Daddy. Um, okay. What are we actually looking for in this hand? The leap, everything looks fine, but how are we going to play this? Pass turn one, or play a guy on one. Barrel on two... I don't see the play. I think we're gonna have to, well... I think we're gonna have to try to lower this curve a little bit. I don't really see the barrel anymore. Ugh, it didn't get any better. Maybe playing slow. You can just pass a couple of turns and play slow. I mean, it would have been nice to have that barrel back now, not gonna lie. Heck yeah. <laughs> As a wise man once said, heck yeah. Should I summon in here and then do this next turn? This will also, well... What if he plays another one? What would I do if I if I played Barrel here, then what would I be doing next turn? On life, some... I'd, be, I'd just play Quasard. All right. I could have summoned into this, though. And then this would have been so well. It's a little bit, gonna be a little bit hard against this Triceratops to be playing like too proactive. We'll see what happens here. Maybe this is a counter to Triceratops because it really just does more. Wow, he just passed me. So we definitely won that trade. I mean, we have a three drop on the field right now. 
So we can either play Quasar or develop the Unlife. Developing Unlife looks really good now, because we got um, Conman. So we're just going to slam him with tempo right now. Uh, all four lanes can get clogged. If he removes something, it just opens up another lane and they can play next turn. If he doesn't, then it means we're winning the game. Mommy? No! Okay, he got us. Not bad. Damn. Uh, summoning would have solved this, but forget me nuts. Too good of a card. Our regifters are dead because of the strike carry taps. I don't know if these regifters were a good idea. I'll ask. What? Thank you, Naughty Pine Clone. One more month until four years. 47 for Naughty Pine Clone. Heck yeah. As a wise man once said, heck yeah. So it's going to be summoning in a superpower. That's a galvanized. Jeez, that's a galvanized. I love Quasar, man. <laughs> that's the best thing we could have got. Is it really turn four, though? Whoops. I kind of played into that. Summoning... Oh, no. Oh, we can't. I thought there was a minion there. Yeah! <laughs> we actually... It didn't matter. A 1-1 would have traded well, too. But I don't think this living... I think we'll just get the 4-5. or five. We'll have more room to spread here. I'm gonna have more room to spread your mom. Probably playing this around Spike Lee second here is better than one damage. Probably. Cards. We definitely needed cards here. Heck yeah. I'll play Quasar. That'll be playable next turn. Oh, the synergy. Let's go. Card draw, too. That's what we need. <laughs> Another Shrinking Violet? You're so annoying. Is this, uh, this looks like, uh, Counter Tron. It looks very much like Counter Tron, but with Beta Caratina. Well, one and a two. Okay, we lost one damage there. Who gives a, Who gives a damn? I think I'm just playing double barrel. Screw it. Screw it. My guys, this one can die, and this one has enough health, so. Yay! Time for explosions! It kind of prevents him from setting up tempo here, too. It plays around Bray Nana. Bray Nana just doesn't do enough. And this dies, so we can make another play. And we have transferred to a teleportation stage. Heck yeah! This is so much fun. I love this. De this is like Conjure Leap, but with Brainstorm. It's just doing Brainstorm things. Heck yeah. That'll take three damage. What are we doing next turn? Is this teleport any good? Should I use this or should I activate like the... The Neutron can, like, kill this guy. Mm. Am I even playing Neutron next turn? What do I actually want here? Need a leap. I don't know. I think I'll play this. Oh, we're 1-0. Sorry. I forgetted to update the score. I was just freaking out about the highlight. That I forgetted. I forgarshed. Thank you, chat. Thanks for solving this issue. Teleport. I think I'm just gonna use the teleport. Even teleport we gift during bed here. I'll probably just teleport barrel though. <laughs> I got four barrel bed beards this game. What the heck is going on? What in the heck? We can draw three cards here. Okay, it dies for free. Okay, the Sky and the Shrinking Violets are so okay, bro. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta do me like that? Eh, yeah, teleport barrels still so good. <laughs> Starch Lord dies. Oh, okay, well this doesn't die. So. Ooh, a leap. I definitely shot him. Four drop. That's not bad, because that actually works, activates next turn, and grows. It has a lot of health, so taking damage here is 
inconsequential. That's really good. I know we kind of went for for going to teleport there. But it's, like, it's in the box. Is this regifter a good thing? Seven to eight. What am I looking for? Leaps? I'm basically just looking for leaps, huh? Leap. Or environments. Thank you, Tryhard, for 37 months. Heck yeah! Probably upload our third match tonight. This one's better. Oh no, maybe I should have saved this for the online because we have Daddy field clear here. Sexy throwing kisses. Thank you, play away. For three dollars. No, you're sexy. Throwing hugs. I'm trying to up one that, I can't do it. Impossible. Probably playing Neutron and getting the damage here is better than leaping this card, because we could have actually then gone, well... Later on a field clear. I'm probably gonna just leap to 3 5. He probably won't be able to count at home. Oh, never mind. El bro. Alright, we just need to get a sumo. No. What 3 drop would even. See, this station is pretty bad. Maybe I'll just save it. I think the neutrons. We're kind of getting our field cleared here. I'm gonna save it. Let's make all these trades. Go on from there. We'll get extra damage with these new cards. Oh wee! Oh wee! Damn, this thing's. Oh boy, he's thick! He got that from Kiratron. So annoying. That's a thick boy! Okay, we got it anyway. So I'm just gonna. Sp I'm just gonna spam. So the unlike for the party. Where do we want this? I guess the leap is happening here. So I think the unlife. I guess the unlife on heights. Unlife on heights. Do you want the unlife here? The unlife is the one he kind of has to go after, though. I think it's okay. The one we want to leap goes here. This goes here. Should I re gift her? I don't think so. Let's see what we get. Heck yeah! Is this a pirate? Okay. Uh, pirate synergy? Pirate synergy. It feeds him two cards. I'm going to take the pirate synergy when I have it. Guys, this is unbelievable. And we'll leap the dead beard. <clears throat> oh, we got cake. Cake is good. Cake is fine. Thank you, Zombie. Welcome to Prime League. Damn, we got a lot of new... How many new subscribers do we have? That's crazy, guys. Thank you so much. For using your, your free subs on me. You're so nice. <laughs> this is going to take like eight damages during this one. So now we're leaping this one. Guys, look at this strike through. Especially when he's down to six health. I mean, it's kind of perfect. So would we rather leap, or would we rather not take the five damage? It's got to be like this. I think the strike through is fine. Eh. 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 This is fine. Oh, wee! <laughs> this will be down to two health. So this dies for free. I know we could have fruit caked and got greedy there. I think this is fine. We'll proc the block and win with the fruit cake next turn. Everything's gonna be fine. Heck yeah. Dang, we had a lot of subs today. <laughs> You're right, we need a barrel of dead beards now with the flame base. That would be great. I like letter. Oh my gosh! Final mission. <laughs> this guy, the man is dead. This grows. Do we get clones? For real. I'm gonna just play this. We don't. We're not gonna have any cap. We don't want to get brain and and against field clear. We can just spam this. So it all kind of like convince him to play a stupid shrinking violet for like the fifth time this game. Damn, this game's taking a long time. It's turn 10, but it looks like we have them. We have final mission to face. We also have fruitcake, so he's gonna like have to bring Nana here in order to survive. 
And even then, we're still doing two damage. <laughs> the man's stocking up. Soul patch could have gone a long way. Might have been enough. Baby, <laughs> why am I being so so BMish today? So far, so good. We need the heck yeah, Night Pokemon. This new thing, I say. Heck yeah, it's so cute. I love heck yeah, it's cute. Heck yeah, is cutest thing. Heck yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go for the leaps. We can like unlike leap on three. I'm just going for this. He's not gonna have a one drop. Screw this guy. Imagine running one drops as well, Knight. Didn't think so. Didn't think so. This will mess up our turn three play, but we could just leap and have to commit the unlike. Come on, spike weed sector. <laughs> it's so stupid if you do that. Every, if you're playing this on turn one on the ground, oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Maybe we'll get a barrel next. Actually, barrel would be perfect, then we don't have to leap. So this turns to a three drop. Come on, fireworks. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Just concede, bro. It's not fair. It's unfair. It's happened once again. <sighs> That's so broken, bro. I think I'm gonna telepathy and do the on life next turn. This will be better. <laughs> Call it. Now the unlife goal actually get a lot more value here. Need a leap, so this goes to five. It's fine. Now it's gonna go to six. Get that man a shamrocket or something, man. Coffee. Unlife, unlife, leap looks good. Unlife con man leap? Is this unlife no good here? Unlife con man leap. Maybe proccing the block was good though. This won't be a 3 3. It's gonna. Bruh. <laughs> That's all he did though. <laughs> Time the leap. Wanna be hero with 18 health. That's nice. <laughs> That's beautiful. Hey, look at Barrel. Heck yeah. We can just draw cards here, can do all kinds of stuff here. It's kinda sad that the frenzy guy Oh, he's gonna put it here. Blame. Why did he put it here? What is he doing, guys? Why did he not block the three damage? Five. These regifters look harsh. <laughs> Should I regift her for two though? Maybe I should Quasar. Quasar it's probably better. Oh no. Maybe Regifter can give us another leap. Or or a leap station. And for those considerations, I will do two damage, grow the this by two, but we have enough health. I'm not really worried about this getting removed. Nope. But now we have lethal in lane four. So that's good. I mean, he could put something here, but these, it's going to absorb shots for like, oh my gosh, he healed a K. And right, right, man. Slowly approaching Bad Moon Rising. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay. This is fine. He's gonna soul patch. We really need an environment, bro. So what's better here, Barrel or Quasar? Barrel can... Uh... Barrel or Quasar, guys? Barrel gives us another guy for Batman Rising next turn. Are we going for Batman Rising? Maybe I should just re-gift her. I don't know, man. So we either play this for an environment, this for... A power. Or this for an extra Bad Moon Rising guy, plus can't get removed here. Slightly so. Well, if this. He can't play Soul Patch anymore. I can play it here. Just mow the law. Is the two minion Bad Moon Rising good enough? Probably not. I think we can wait one more turn. Wanna be heroes dying slowly. Extremely slowly. Aha! On life? On life? Barrel mission. That's a good play. Well, Bad Moon Rising next turn. <coughs> Quasar, maybe? Okay. Does he have a little bit? Okay. Uh, so we can mission this. It's fine. Oh! Oh! See ya! This trade, too, which is awesome. Awesome! Maybe having a 4 3 is actually better than a 3 2, though. I probably should have, because we're probably going to Bad Moon Rising. Well, once we play a minion, this does grow. It doesn't really matter. I'm just getting, I'm just getting all worked up over nothing. We would have done one extra damage this turn. It probably is better to just do the, 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 the I don't know, the thing. So it's Bad Moon Rising now? Is it Bad Moon Rising yet? It's a three-man Baboon Rising, and two of them really don't do anything. All right, one more turn. One more turn. That's pretty awesome. Oh no, but this is gonna die then. Well, kind of dies anyway. Come on, leap. We we gotta leap. This turns into an eight drop, guys. So that's either an Octo or a Plank Walker. A strike through would work here. And in fact, Plank Walker would make this Unlife grow like eight times. Oh, 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 okay, so that does four. It's not very good. Owie. We need a leap. It's a box. <laughs> Plank Walker, heck yeah. So the Strike 3 still damage, doesn't damage the, um, the protected guy. Oh my gosh, we got Gondol. We got Gondol. Is there anything that I bust here? It's probably worth it to kill this thing so he doesn't OTK me next turn, right? And this one dies. This one dies. So I guess I'm hitting this. Or probably just Bad Moon Rising next turn anyway, right? Alright, this is fine. This makes two more minions die. It makes both of the Heart of Chokes die, which is really important so we don't just get burst down. Now, there's a chance of rolling... There was no way to hit his face an extra time. There's a chance of rolling a 1 and a 2 and actually getting another minion, an amphibious minion, for the Bad Moon Rising here. There's the 1. Come on, Gondol. God damn it. Okay, we still have a 5-man Bad Moon Rising, though. It just limits our options a little bit. Yeah, that was definitely a good Z-Mac. Heck yeah. So it's going to be, uh... Is it good to commit this one? Or should we just do these two? Doesn't really matter. 
it just grows this more. <laughs> Doom Shroom's not really an option for him. Oh, now we can fruit cake too? I'll definitely take it. Wow, the free minion. Let's go, the ramp. We can actually fruit cake this and then Bad Moon Rock. Are you kidding me, man? That's crazy, bro. Uh oh. Uh oh. So that does eight. Ugh. 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 No, we can't, Bad Moon Rock. Wait. Okay, guys. Here's the situation. Fruitcake wins. Fruitcake wins the game. It wins here. 10 plus 5. 6 plus... Guys, we have guaranteed lethal. We can't... In fact, if I take a nap, we win. I can literally fall asleep and it's guaranteed lethal. But what fun would that be? <laughs> Binary stars? Oh, man. It did four, eight. This is, is this a dancing two? It did 12 damage. It did 12 damage. It did 12 damage. This is, this is a dancing card. It must be. It did eight, 12. That's crazy, bro. Wait. We didn't even need to go to the attack phase. Not gonna lie, didn't even know this was a dancing card. I had no idea. I guess he has like the cucaracha, the whole thing going on. <laughs> no, that wasn't the right song, but... <laughs> what the heck just happened? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. That was crazy. <laughs> Got him. Guys, don't mess with Professor Brainstorm. Professor Brainstorm OP always has been. Always will be. Heck yeah. This is reminding me of the, the time we got Conjure Leap. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. My gosh, that's a lot of leaps. Heck yeah. Is Kukoracha the only dance I can think of? Yeah. My deepest apologies. Okay, this hand is actually not good at all. <laughs> Heck yeah. What are we doing here? I don't, I don't know. We're just final mission? I think I just pass here, to be honest. Yay. He just berry blasted that? He banana bombed it. Very strange indeed. The other two zombies were mime and uh, gas explosion. Heck yeah. I don't know. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO with the environment. Didn't think so. Car. 
I don't know what this is. Cards! It's just what we need. We kind of just have a hand with nothing in it. Nothing, no way of actually getting pressure. That bungee's interesting. We can also vitamin Z one of the guys. Me and the boys. Vitamin Zing everyone. Okay, we can also go just backup dancers and leap the backup dancer. I think that'll be the play. And kill this for free. Bruh. That's annoying. Oh, we have pirate synergy. I didn't realize. We can vitamin Z this one too. I didn't even think of that. It probably was just this and vitamin Z and then spam environments next turn. Would have been the play, duh. We can still do it. It's just gonna really cost us. I think it's not ramping is good. I mean, I could still vitamin Z this. He would need another removal card. Am I crazy to just vitamin Z here? All right, guys, we're throwing for content. It's official. Throwing for content. Let's see what he comes up with. Oh, Henry the Mild. We're just gonna spam environments until he dies a terrible, crappy death. Let's see what he can do with eight. I'm gonna regret this. He's gonna play Maul Cal. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he didn't have it. Okay. So he didn't really have anything to ramp to, which is very weird. Um, so do I commit the bungee here? This is a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Maybe I should prevent damage instead? Is bungeeing this a good idea? What is he going to do on 9? Get up Cornucopia. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even bungeeing that. I don't care. Perfect. One goes here. One goes here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What in California rolled? Lame. 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 He California rolled five damage. That would have done 15 instead of did 10. Lamest thing I've ever seen in my life. The stream is fun? Heck yeah. Now what do I do? Gosh, we're getting wrecked. You know what? Screw it. I'm going all in on this on this dude. He doesn't have any removal cards, he used them already. The heals. What's with the Cali rolls, man? <laughs> There goes all the health. We did 10. He just healed for 8. Didn't cost him a card either. Bruh. 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 And he had Weed Whack. This game's stupid. Wow. Do I leap for a card? I think I do. Oh, 3 attack would also kill this one. We get a guy with two attack, right. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. I probably don't even bungee. I mean, he has cards now, so maybe I should bungee this one. So he doesn't just swamp us next turn. We have to roll one, but watch him now roll one. Okay. Okay. I'll take a leap. Come on, an imp. Oh, we got an imp. Oh my gosh. Much needed card. Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Never mind. See, he used all of his banana bombs, right? He can't do a damn thing anymore. Oh my gosh, double quasar. I'll definitely take it. Here is. We got Infinity Clone. That's nice. Quasar number one. Oh, I, I did it. Not in the environment, just in case we would get exactly this guy. <laughs> okay. Now it does three damage. It kills one of these. Quasar never also doesn't die to Berry Blast. Ooh, rock walls, alright. We'll probably end up final missioning here. Here comes Cobb Cannon. What is he going? Pine Clown? Pine Clown. Pine Clown. That's fine. Pine Clown? That's fine, Clown. Um. 
So, final missioning to this lane could be good. To make this survive. We can also just rock wall. Probably preventing him from doing any damage to our faces, correct here? So, this one gets healed. This will have 9 health. We need a leap! We need a leap! Uh, this is fine. Thank you, Tommy the Dirt. Welcome to Primal. You have so many new subs today, guys. Woo! What is going on? How many people are in the stream, by the way? This is the most fun stream we had in a long time. Less than 200. What the? It's a, it's a Wednesday. What is it? Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Okay. Okay. That was pretty awful, not gonna lie. We got a one health minion, man. Do we just Bad Moon Rising the one card? You know what? I can play cards here and he can't. This is so bad. Aha! I don't know if I just missed. Probably playing slow here is actually correct. It probably is correct. I don't even know if I final mission, because this really kind of dies for free. I think you just pass. This kind of clears this field. This is okay. We'll take three damage, and then the whale actually does something. If the whale had two health, I could have... Uh, I could have maybe final mission. To, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then this one leaps. This is okay. I think this puts us in a better state. That is cool. I don't know if feeding him cards is a good thing right now. We can go for just Bad Moon Rising. I feel like his Swarm deck is not going to be as good. I I'm just on a hunch. I'm going to I'm gonna actually play one of these here. I think this is extremely winnable. Leap. Now we have backup dancers. I think it's just going to be final mission and leap. And we'll get our fourth minion here. We'll see if he removes this. Somehow. I know he might just... We might have just fed him a Colonel Corn. I don't think he's going to be running that. I think he's running a Swarm deck. Like a Pine Clone Swarm deck. So I can get two Molecules. It would be sad. We'll, we'll Bad Moon Rise... Actually, we have this next turn. So we'll Bad Moon Rising next turn, probably. I'll try to final mission this to prevent damage and then leap this one. Or f uh, Oh no, we'll final mission to here. Yeah, and then we'll get a free gravestone. Well, sometimes. Next turn is backup dancers, bad moon rising. It's perfect. And you can't do anything, you can't prevent tricks, so it's pretty safe. We're just going to play it safe here, guys. Safe as humanly possible. I can't believe we're getting these Bad Moon Risings in a game. Like, he's at 20 health. He better not concede. Bro, don't concede. He's sniping and he knows what I have in my hand. <laughs> Sniper, get wrecked. Really? Really? He disconnected on that. This guy's sniping me, man. He's just getting embarrassed. That's what's going on. 4 0, I don't care. Throwing for content. <laughs> the name of the stream will be Throwing for Content. Guys, I have legit white hairs right now. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Look at this right here. What do you think that is? Coming an old geezered. I'm going for this for the stiff start. Your dad is stiff. Heck yeah. That's a good hand. That's what I call a good ass hand. This internet died. We'll give him the, the benefit of the doubt. I don't care. We won the come from behind victory. That guy, wow, that was a guy with all those raptors on the field who could have killed us any moment. Got him. 
This is Professor Brainswarm with barrels. Heck yeah. Barrels and leaps. I think I'm just gonna telepathy. And if he plays uh, Spike Weed, that would even be better. I still have telepathy. I still have telepathy. It's a fine play. Hopefully we'll get some things to combine with the unlike when we get to go. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Do you go unlike Barrel? I think it's unlike Barrel. That's just my opinion. The synergy. El synergy. It's just hard for him to make a good trade against the unlife. So either he'll front it and we'll win the trade in two. So we'll get ahead that way. Or he won't front it and unlife is going to just grow so much next turn. Heck yeah. I'm not lagging. You should turn down your resolution if you're lagging. You're lagging. I ain't lagging. This dies, by the way. He just killed his kid. This is such a bad front. He didn't realize how much damage this is going to take. Get wrecked and we're winning this trade. Man, this man. This, I don't know this other man. This man is dead as hell. Give me one more one drop. This is going to be so thick. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be so thick. Because this is going to grow. This is going to leap when we play the transformation station. This will leap. This will grow again to a 6-4. This guy is so done. He is Edward so done. What's better to leap, a 4-3 or a fresh 3-drop is the question. I think a 4-3 is better to leap. A 4-1. A 4-1? Do, do we want a 4-1 or a fresh 3-drop? A 4-1 or a fresh 3-drop? Unless it turns into a blob. I wish we knew what this was going to turn into. Oh my gosh, I changed my mind. Instant regrets. It's okay. We can leap this. We will fix the problem with leaps. Leaps really solves every problem. This did six damage. This will go up to seven five now once this leaps. La di da di da. That's fine. A wee. So it's gonna be you. Goes again. It's eight six. We're gonna leap. This actually have ten attacks. So <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. This doom shroom. God damn it. I don't care. A leap. I'm gonna take that. I'm not leaping that again. Can you please not roll three here, you piece of garbage? He's gonna roll three. Yes! Free gravestones. Heck yeah. What do we get? We got a five drop. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> this is so good. So four, five, six looks awesome, eh? Uh, I'll proc the block here. Why not? We'll get two two free damage in. Here we go. Proc the block, and we'll leap one of these. One of these. This is so good. We'll probably just leap the three two. Actually, who knows what we'll leap? We'll leap whatever we want. I'm gonna do what I want. Highlight city, guys. Highlight town. Okay, that was disgusting. Completely unredeeming. It's in the box. It's okay, it just procs the block this way. Oh. Heck yeah. Surprise Garfell, the stream is so good. He rumbled, no! Okay, so it kills this. It's, uh... God damn it, well, at least this one lives. We still have more cards, so we're doing just fine. We doing just fine. That is getting leaped. So we'll give him one of these. See what we get. <laughs> give him one of those. Give him one of these. <laughs> okay, backyard bounce. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. Bodyguard? Lame. Hey, we can proc the block for free. I don't care. 
So will this on average have... <clears throat> Probably making this live. Let's see what this turns into. Well, if we lightning bolt this one, he already used rumble, right? He can also get time to shine. Yeah, the correct play is actually leaping this one into a four drop and then proccing the block in lane one. That is good enough. That's guaranteed lethal. Go. He already used Rumble, so time to shine. Hole of Flora. And Root Wall don't do a damn. He don't do a damn. That's guaranteed. 5-0. and oh. Damn, z -Mech Super was like the only thing that killed both of those guys. <laughs> Let's go. Time to shine would have prevented us from even living, so. Got him. Oh, we Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> See, Mech Super too powerful, man. Too powerful. Too powerful. Daddy, time me out. Okay. You've been a good boy. <sighs> Looking good. Let's look for an unlife. Oh, I'm digging for it. Do we get rid of this now? Yep. Ooh, okay. So we can go one, two, three. We can also go one. It's, uh, it's too clunky. We'll just try to leap the guy. This has been working, just leaping this one drop into a four. Pumpkin. That hurts. I might have to actually start playing defensive. That'll be cool on five, but it's kind of useless. Right now. If we summoning a science card. Exactly a science card, then Unlife grows again. Unlife is going on heights here, actually. If we summoning a dog, that would even be better. Uh, be about the same. Who has the most channel points? Am I able to even... To even, uh... Thing thing? The internet connection error. So that is fixed on iOS and they're working on it on Android. I know new players, if you just downloaded the game again, there, there has been this error and they are working on it. That is what a little bird told me. Here we go. Two attack would be nice. We got a science card. And we got something that not only has two attack, it also is a science card, so it leaps this. It also gives us a whole nother card in our hands. This is probably the absolute best thing we could have got from summoning. Holy moly with that. Maybe, like, dog. Uh, that spawns another minion would have been... That's arguably still better, because it's still leap this. We can play two minions this turn, theoretically. Heck yeah. So what happened? CrossFit just up for 57 months. Damn. God damn. How many? We've had like like 20 subscribers today. Including CrossFit for 57. Naughty did like 47. Jesus. You guys are on a roll. What do we do here? So it's going to be this and leap. We'll either leap immediately if this gets into trouble or if this gets into trouble or we'll just environment. Just depends how fast we have to be. The wall on that. You were just able to reinstall the game on Android 12 phone, but does and you entered the game and it worked? Because I just tried on a Galaxy Tablet A7 and it did not work. I tried it right before the stream, so unless they fixed it in the last hour. But they are working on the error, don't worry guys. So we actually have to leap this fast so the unlife lives. We're going with the fast leap. See this will grow to a 5-5 five, five, just to keep the guy in the field. It's another card. Man, this is crazy. Is it turn five? It is. So we can go with the Yeti now. I'll probably Yeti here. This guy's playing aggro, but we're at 15 health. We're aggroing him. <laughs> okay. Wait, he didn't block. That's good. Heck yeah. Oh no, it's only turn four. How is it only turn four? Is the real question. 
So one, two. Wait. Well, we can't play a one. It's probably just two and two. And then we can ping this. We can also Quasard. But we can't play that card yet. Uh, I think it's still better. Let's see what we get. That's fine. And this also just does Prox's block, gets him down to four. It puts him kind of within like final mission range and stuff. That's so annoying, because now this lives. You know, I at least didn't hit the Yeti, you know? Okay. Still getting him really low here. It's running ramp in a very strange card in a seemingly aggro deck. He can't really do damage here. It's not really good at removing. None of his powers remove something, so. It's either super heal. He used. Did he use bubble? Super heal, bubble, walnut. He's walnut. So it's super heal or bubble. Man, we're doing all this damage now. Fruitcake wins here, so I'm gonna go for Fruitcake. Fruitcake wins in the that lane. Two and two. Battle cruiser costs six. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got it. Well, he'd have to team up a walnut here. No, but when we, then we can kill this lane, actually. No, we got him, boys. We got him. Where is this going? It doesn't matter. Whichever lane goes, we activate the other one. That's it. That's game. El Gamo. For the win. This ended up doing so much damage. This came from, like... This was an interdimensional zombie, which we leaped, you know, one time. Got him. Not only is this deck really fun, it's kicking ass. I mean, we've been really dominating here, so... We're kicking Tukka, sorry. There's no other watching. I don't know why not. One of the mysteries of the world, crudeness. Kind of stupid. Why not use Ag? I I'm running Barrel instead of Ag. The reason is because there's 40 cards. Whenever you suggest a card, you always say, instead of this card we should run egg then you usually understand the answer yourself if you do it like that heck yeah okay we're not playing on one two on life is probably way too much here i'm probably gonna end up just playing slow i just don't like playing on one against solar flare maybe it's worth it Plus, we're gonna get berry blasted. You know what? Screw it. I'm all getting this. That's a good card on. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. So this is a good. This long card you can really play on <laughs> turn one safely. Middle manager, I guess. Great. That's still harsh because it gets an extra sun for every turn for the rest of the game. Kind of broken. But, you know. Should I just go for unlife combo? This can get very blasted, but... I mean, I guess if we get a neutron... What else would I do this turn? I could just pass. I feel like if our opponent develops tempo, then we kind of lose. I'm technically playing around raiding raptors. I'm not playing around... Around ketchup mechanic. iOS means apple. Sorry, I keep on saying the technical term. Not everyone knows what that means. I'm not sure if that's really right. Yeah, Solar Flare is annoying. Between our superpowers and Berry Blast. And... Wrong one. Are you kidding me, bro? You're not playing around Backup Dancer? So this half for one trades. Then we get a 3-3. And now this is just going to grow more. In fact, if we can get a second Science card. So four ne Neutrons and three Interdimensionals in our deck. This will actually grow like three times here. Nope. 
Uh, I'm going to leap the 1-1 one, one into a 2-drop. And again, it could turn into a science card, which will trigger a chain reaction here. That's a reincarnation. Barablast. That is okay. Come. It's alright. Give us a card. The, our opponent's out of cards. Look at the card advantage. Heck yeah, and this thing is just insurmountable at this point. I'm gonna spam two minions no matter what here. Are these the two minions? Am I just spamming double barrel here? This is crazy. Is this nuts? Screw it, I'm doing it. And again, killing the barrels doesn't doesn't hurt this. It this will grow first, so this is at seven attack, four health now. I, I kind of had a limited hand. This is actually synergy with the cone head, which is cool. Guys, we have cone synergy. <laughs> oh, it's, this has cone synergy too. Damn, he had... Oh, no. Uh, I really badly need a final mission or a leap station or something, man. Because these guys, these cards just died. Terrible death. Leaps! I'll just empty this hand, man. Is reincarnation worthless? I think Reincarnation has the potential of being an extremely competitive card, and I keep on using it in RNG decks. Think about what Reincarnation is. It cancels out their one drops. They play a problematic thing on turn one that you have to answer, like Cheese Cutter. You know, so you have to run one drops in order to counter that, just for example. So it acts like that, plus in the late game it becomes completely overpowered, like severely overpowered. Really? I, see, this doesn't help him at all. I'm actually not even covering it. What is he ramping to? To nothing. Screw this guy. I'll get actual tempo on the field, an actual 3-drop. That'll turn to a 4-drop, and he can get useless sunflowers. Congratulations. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you, Daddy Wally. <laughs> so broken, man. So should I take these out, or should I just go face... They're useless. Watch him pull out an 8-drop here. Wow, it's... I mean... Oh. Oh. That hurt, man. I don't really want him getting this pit yet, so I'm gonna wait a turn before I free kick that. It'll also, like, activate this card. That was harsh. That was really harsh. That was our 4-drop there, too. We could've really free kicked anything he fronted this with, so that, I mean... Removal cards, lawnmower. That was pretty harsh. Pretty dang harsh. Oh no, we couldn't play it. No, it's fine. I gotta fruitcake this before it does too much. Now this will just turn to a two drum. This is so dead. What is happening here? We're getting wrecked. I need just Quasar, Regifter, Final Mission would be incredible. Okay, so we get a 2-drop now. Ugh, this game is so clunky. There's the Quasar, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Cell phone is... I, seriously, this could have been one of the best things we got. Holy moly with that. Probably leaping... Well, I'll probably leap cell phone? Who knows what I'm gonna leap. Another card. Give me, to, like, telepathy. That that draws us a car. That's oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're getting the card advantage game. This is so lucky in this game where this whole thing is down the card advantage. We got three card advantage. Four. We got four cards that draw us cards. That's crazy, man. So do I leap? I mean, I, I probably have to take out the launcher, right? I can actually, uh, I can actually nerf this one. Yep. See ya. No! Oh, it's not good enough. Okay. Yeah, he'll still get a banana bomb, which does a lot here. But this lives. will be a 3-drop. Okay, he'll just draw one card. It's okay. Fireworks, are you kidding me? He drew the card already, but still, man. <laughs> That's so broken, bro. We actually have an imp? Which is interesting. 
It's interesting. Where does the imp go? I think the imp goes to face? Come on, electrician. I don't know. It's okay. He has a banana bomb anyway. He'll probably use it on the neutral. Wild Mary. Okay. It's interesting he didn't play a minion before the Wild Berry to be a little more precise with that. It's just a little awkward. Unless he do What could he have? In he doesn't have any minions in his hand. He has Banana Bomb. And? And, oh, I forgot about the pit. He still should have played the pit here. And then decided. I mean, this leaps. I forgot about the pit, guys. Okay, so these trade... This one's actually better, because it draws cards. Probably better than Leaping. Okay, so he has this now. Come on, Pogo! I don't know. Come on, something that draws us a card. Disco, Cosmic Dancer would be good. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh, he can still replay it. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. He can now actually... It's actually better now, because he can replay it wherever he wants. <laughs> that actually wasn't good at all. But it's a minion. He can re he can play it for free, but he can change which lane it goes in. It's definitely better. Okay. Do I do this yet? Kind of have to. Come on, something that survives. Worst... Case scenario, we're gonna lose this game now because of this Astrocado pit. You know that? I needed something that survived five damage there, and we just did not get it. The Pogo wasn't good. The Pogo made us lose there. That wasn't good, guys. Pogo was the worst thing we could have got. That looked really good, but it was terrible. It was literally the worst thing we could have got. He, we, we, this would have survived. We at least have something on the field. Now we did now we lose. Now we lose. What am I gonna do? What okay, we need a miracle from I don't know, from Quasar here, I guess. Something with card draw again. That does not get it done. This is all so bad, man. He got Reincarnation into Stego, which not only is a 7-7 untrickable, not only does it set up lethal, I mean, we have this, but it also draws him an extra card. That guy is getting lucky. I guess I'll do this, stupid. I mean, what what is what is even, under what condition do we even win anymore? That Bad Moon Rising was so sad. Uh, if we get... Regifter, Regifter, Regifter. We would win. We would win with three Regifters, guys. We need something here, man. Some of the lightning bolt, I guess. We need a bad move right. Oh my gosh, we just got Eureka from that. <laughs> Draw two more cards? Where did he get bamboo? He got bamboozle from Potato Source. He just drew two though. No, but he healed for two also. <laughs> YOLO. See, we could have bungeed this. I wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. He got us. All right, we're six and one. <laughs> Honestly, though, that was such a lucky game on both sides. And I think us getting that pogo was our death. He need if he removed that. Oh man, even just removing the pogo with the uh, anyway. That was such a highlight game, though, man. This whole stream, this whole stream is just ridiculous. I don't even know what's going on with the stream, man. Even the loss that was pretty epic game. That was probably might have been overall the best game so far. Heck yeah. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Good old brainstorm. How did I forget about this deck? Probably leaps are good against Rose. I don't know. 
Hello, garbage, my old friend. Is Neutron better than Grave Robber? It's there to activate the, um... Activate the interdimensional zombies so you can turn three combo on life interdimensional Neutron it could be grave robbers buddy Who knows me? Who even knows? Does some cards look good? I should have spread these a little better that really hurts. He didn't play around summoning, which is crazy. He didn't play around summoning at all. Let's see what happens here. Wolfie Gamer. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the Primal. Another another new sub. New sub number 15. I don't even know how many. Should be fine. <laughs> what the heck just happened? Okay. It's it's so funny, we don't really benefit that much from this. Oh, that hurts. I don't I don't even know if this is good. It probably isn't. I don't think that gave us enough value. It can spam transformation stations now. Who cares? Garbage. What is, we need something to combo this with. Oh, so, okay, so now, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, extra synergy, let's go. This man's getting wrecked. Okay. Okay. See, now we can we can actually do some spamming. So we can play this, play this, and play, we can play all three of these now. Oh, that's actually pretty damn good. All right, it didn't look that good, but because we got exactly interdimensional zombies, we can play this for cheap. There's actually a lot happening on this board right now. Dry cop. Cool. So we will... We shall... We might be able to go for the win. I mean, one, two, three, four. So we need four damage here for guaranteed lethal. Raptor for the win. This is clean. We just do this one. We just do this one. It it, it draws a card and gets the raptor unless this messes it up somehow. It's guaranteed lethal, guys. <laughs> These do four. They have zero attack, but they're still doing four out of eight damage here. This is fine. Got him. <laughs> He ramps a twin sunflower. He played Burb Cobb Cannon, and we just have guaranteed lethal. Ah, uh, yay! Easy. Draw a card to death. Rapture Clash. Usually, we could have just leap lane four and gotten a four drop, which usually has four attack. Not necessarily, though. There's a lot of things that don't. But, uh, yeah, Raptor did come in clutch, so... Heck yeah! 7-1. I'm, I'm smelling the 9-1 and one here. I don't I don't think we're gonna get into a 7-2 scenario, but this is Captain Combustible. Against whom you are never safe. Never safe! Do we keep this for an emergency? Screw it. I'm going face. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going... This mofo going... Ice. Con man did 14 damage. That's a lot of damage. Did I have a secret agent in my hand? Con man, one of the better cards in the game. Heck yeah. I I like this. This is fine. Because if he goes after the Unlife with the Berry Blast, these con men just continue to wreck him. Um, and if he doesn't, then this grows insanely next year. Unreasonably. Like, what are you going to Berry Blast here? It's too many... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's also an option. This is another con man. These things are just do, ripping him to shreds. You can't answer both of them here either. 
See this, we have we had one more slot. We could have done the turn three play. Turn three play. Gotta hit him with the replay. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I'll just do this. Come on. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, that worked. <laughs> that definitely works. <laughs> it's not bad. There's a berry blast on one of the con men. Congratulations. Best thing we can get here is probably Quasar. Admission wouldn't be bad either. I'm just gonna spam him to death. He's just, uh. I don't know, man. I haven't had an opportunity to play the Unlife yet. But we just start with two on men. So, I'm at a discount. Extra damage to face. Okay. Huge play. Down to five. Huge. I don't know what's going on with this. I will spam on life of the party. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it's a 3-3. Three, three. Bruh. He can't get a berry, so this is completely safe. La -di -da. We're just poking him to death. I poke you. This should be three damage here. Clears this field again. Man's going all berry on us. What is this garbage, though? <laughs> we'll set these up for next turn. Henry Stickman collection. I'm focusing on mobile games, particularly right now we're doing. Hey, <laughs> Barry blast my one drop. Oh. Particularly battle simulators. That's fun. Where's final mission, bro? This is complete garbage. <laughs> you know what? This will work next turn because if he makes a profit, this activates four damage here. Watch that. Oh, no. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. No 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 no. No no no. No no bad. Bad. Very bad. We have no we have no gravestones in this deck either. Well, he needs to play two tricks in order for this. In order to No, he has one. He has to play three tricks. He has three cards in his hand. Yeah, right. Okay. No, he only needs no, 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 no. Against Captain Combustible, you are never safe. And he got Banana Bomb from ban from Banana Peel. Yep, I believe it. Banana Peel was literally the best card he could have had in the entire game. There's no other card that clears two minions out and and allows that bonus attack to go face there's no there's no such thing man that was crazy that guys were in a seven and two scenario even with professor brainstorm this deck has folly twice seven and two <laughs> i wasn't safe the problem was there is i was not safe i definitely i didn't feel safe i feel like we need more final missions man there's been so many times where we just needed another one Okay, I'm keeping that. Oh, we keeping that? That's a hand. I know Beta has two ways of killing this, but whatever. <coughs> I'll take the fitty fitty. Right, I got completely outskilled, exactly. I bet he had no other tricks. We totally had lethal there. We would have exploded, killed the thing. He topped like banana banana peel. Great. I don't even know what just happened, man. Disgusting. Ugh. That's fine. What do I do here? Do I develop this already? 
You're just summoning. We will call it a day. You really sacked his forget me nuts into my into my interdimensional? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Clay. Does this matter at all? I'm just trying to think if there's any difference between this being on ground or on heights. The only consideration is here. Well, no, he can't play a minion. Is there any difference between ground and heights here, man? Is there anything that survives against three damage here? This can make a... Okay, there are a couple things that survive against three damage and can be leaped in the station, so... That would be the difference. Why not put interdimensional heights for Moonwalker and Skydiver? Because I because I want to leap it with this card. This is our turn two play. Probably. Chimney, it doesn't matter. It trades even against the three two. It doesn't matter at all. If he didn't have the corn dog, then you I do I would have done that on heights. But chimney at two one trades, three two trades doesn't matter. Ain't no mountain fine. Right. So now we can unlife and do a whole bunch of fancy schmancy stuff here. Second barrel. I like this. <laughs> that might come in handy. Uh, it's seven and two. Why are people saying eight and two? <laughs> Pass. Wow, that's cool. Now that is what I call a cool play. We have so many options here now. That's kind of cool too. I kind of played into shrinking a little bit. <sighs> Stupid. Uh, this leap is still fine. We're still very far ahead. That's just sad. <laughs> just slowly. I think as it shrunk... You could almost see it go up more. That's so cool. Did you guys notice that? Usually the barrel goes really, really fast, but that's because it's big and it goes off screen. But since the whole thing was scaled down, you could like see it go up slowly. That was so awesome. I'm putting on the highlight comp just because that looked really cool. 146.20. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like this. Did you see that, guys? <laughs> that was cool. I want to be a cowboy, is what I want to be. I can just double leap this into... Actually, I can super it here if I want. You can do all kinds of stuff now. It's not really a glitch, it's just like an, a weird animation. It's also like when Monkey Pirate activates his ability when their opponent has one block meter. So on the bottom of the screen, if it's yours, 
you can see it. On the top of the screen, you don't, because it just flies so high that it goes off the screen. Something like that. Um, well, I have time for a battle simulate. You know what? The stream has taken so long. This would end up being a two-hour, hour-and-a-half-long stream, so... I don't think I'm going to have time for variety to that. I really want to, though. Really want to. Am I, maybe it could be I'll have I'll have time at like eleven o'clock at night or something. Just quit. Eight and two, man. We had so much go for us in that hand. Another sniper. Wait, I didn't want to deal with the cowboy. It's just a cowboy. I was ahead. I'm counting as a win. <laughs> All right, guys. That was the um, Professor Barrel Swarm. I mean, seriously, one of the most fun streams we've had uh, in a really, really long time. Damn, that was fun. I gotta keep on doing more versions of this deck. This was crazy, man. I'm gonna write, maybe we'll do like a proper bag. I think I've done with that four, three Baboon Risings before. I'm gonna just keep on bringing back version of this because this was uh, it's so insanely fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace, this is Fry.